Hello and welcome to Miko. My name is Chris Michael. I'm the founder and director of Miko, and welcome to another in our series of videos answering your questions via video. You send us in loads of emails on a daily basis asking all sorts of questions about dehumidifiers. We answer each one in turn as fully as we possibly can, but we thought it'd be fun to answer some as well via video. So today we've got Nigel. Nigel's asking about the DD8L or dehumidifier and he's wondering about its uh, use below 10 degrees centigrade in his boat. Um, how will the dehumidifier perform? Dehumidifier will be absolutely fine. Uh, what will happen is, is that its performance will be exactly the same below 10 degrees C as it would be at 20 degrees C. That's the beauty of the desiccant dehumidifiers. Their performance is very consistent. They don't mind what the temperature is, whereas a compressor dehumidifier, you shouldn't really be using it below 16 degrees C. So yes, the DDA towel will be absolutely fine below 10 degrees C and it will operate no problem at all. So you've made the right choice there, Nigel. Thank you very much for your email. Uh, next we've got Barry. Um, the Miko 10L, does it have a 10 litre tank? Is that, why, is that why it's called the 10L? No, the numbers that we use, so the Miko 10L, the Miko 20L, the Miko 30L, the Miko 40L, that's how much their maximum extraction would be over 24 hours based on the international standard of measuring their performance at 30 degrees C and 80% RH. I know we don't get those conditions in the UK too often but that's the international standard for measuring the size of a dehumidifier and at least it means you can say that one's bigger than that one, that one's smaller than that one. The tank sizes on the dehumidifier are actually a lot smaller and um, they're around about two, three, four litres depending on which machine we're talking about. And, and that's because you're bending down to floor level because water goes down so the buckets are at the bottom of the dehumidifier and then you've got to pick that up and pour it away and for a lot of our customers if the tank sizes were around about 10 litres they'd have struggled to pick it up because every litre of water is a kilogram of weight so you're picking up three kilograms four kilograms from floor level and that's probably enough for some people and we don't want the customers uh, tripping or stumbling with the water on the way to the sink to pour it away so we keep the tank sizes sensible to make it easier for everyone. hope that helps to explain and uh, why we call the dehumidifiers what we do. Thank you for your email Barry. Right we've got Ronald here. Um, Ronald wants to use his dehumidifier with a uh, all right, okay. He's already got it and he's using the timer function on it and it's turning off after nine hours and he wants to know how he can get it to run continuously. Don't press the timer button, okay? If you just ignore the timer button, it will just run continuously. So the timer has got the options. You just press the button and it goes through the different times for turning the dehumidifier off and then it goes back round to continuous. So if you just press your timer button one more time, Ronald, it'll go around to continuous and then your dehumidifier will just work all the time and it won't keep on switching itself off. So don't press that timer button if you want it to run continuously. Um, Miko 20L, this um, comes in from Sean here. She would like to know uh, if she puts the dehumidifier downstairs, will it clear the condensation in the bedrooms upstairs? Probably is your answer there, Sean. Um, leave the bedroom doors open so that the air can circulate around. And if the source of moisture is mostly coming from downstairs, and I'm thinking about um, cooking on, in the kitchen, putting the kettle on, um, drying the washing maybe on the clothes horse downstairs, if it's mostly coming from downstairs then you're going to capture that moisture before it gets upstairs and sort it out that way. Also the moisture from upstairs will migrate down towards the dehumidifier as the dehumidifier creates a dry spot at the bottom of the stairs. But if your problem is mostly to do with a bathroom or a shower room upstairs and maybe you haven't got an extractor fan so the source of moisture is mostly coming from upstairs then I would move the dehumidifier to the landing and run it up there. We've got a 20L on our landing and we've got four bedrooms uh, coming off that landing. No one ever complains about noise at night. Everyone's more than happy. It's a nice quiet machine. I uh, hope that helps, uh, Sean. Thank you very much for your interest. Um, last one is Michael. Um, wanting to use a DD8L Junior in the garage, which he also uses as a workshop. 
and um, can you put a continuous drain on? Yep, it comes with a hose in the box, that's there, you've got it already. DD8L Junior is the correct um, dehumidifier to choose. Pop the hose on to the spout on the back of the dehumidifier. That's uh, just down via here, very simple to do, just push fit and then make sure the hose is running downhill. You can do what I do at home, I've got a hole drilled in my garage wall and I've got the water going out via that hose onto a flower bed so you know it keeps the uh, uh, flowers uh, irrigated there. Um, your other question is when I'm doing dusty stuff off in the garage, sawing, uh, routing etc um, should I just uh, put a cover over the top of the dehumidifier? Yeah, I would. Uh, I would uh, cover the dehumidifier up when you're doing that soaring and routing. That dust isn't going to be very good for the dehumidifier. It does have a good dust filter on it, but uh, for the periods of time that you're doing that, uh, you're probably better off just covering the dehumidifier up to protect it. And then once you've finished doing all of that, the dehumidifier can get to work again because um, otherwise you can get a lot of dust going in via the vent at the top. The filter on the back will capture the, 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 the dust, but the top there, um, you're going to probably find that you get a lot settling in there, which uh, wouldn't be a good idea. Okay, so I hope that helps, Michael, and thank you very much for your email. Thank you, everyone, for your emails. So please keep them coming. Thank you.